So we're going to do water signs, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. This could be you who went through this. This could be someone that you're attached to, someone that you have detached from. This could be someone who wants to come towards you, different people that they're attached to, different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or near future. So you have to take what resonates and just leave what doesn't. So you have the Six of Wands. And then the world is here. Ace of Wands. So this could be you. You could have completed a cycle out. Six of Wands is here. You could be having victory victory right now. You're starting over, having some type of new beginning. Ace of Wands is here. This also could be a lot of people are looking at you. They respect you. They hold you in high honor. And um, they see you in a whole nother cycle. They see you having a new beginning, Ace of Wands, or starting something new. King of Pentacles is here. Okay, so we have the King of Pentacles. And then the Empress is here. King of Swords is here. So this could be someone who wants to come towards you after completing some type of cycle out. This could have been somebody that you distance yourself from or you and this person are distant with this King of Swords. Two of Swords is here. So whoever this, I'm so done. Whoever this King of Swords is, this is somebody that told some type of lie on you. It's like they spread some type of rumor to blind this person from the truth. This person could have completed a cycle out. They were happy, six of wands. They were, um, you know, happy to have some type of new beginning. And this person was coming towards you in this King of Pentacles energy. But whoever this King of Swords is, they lied to this person, two of swords, to blind them from the truth. Three of swords is here. And then eight of wands is here. It's like they're heartbroken over something that they did because it didn't do nothing but help this person move forward. Eight of Wands. They got exposed quick and they were heartbroken. This Eight of Wands talks about quick exposure. Somebody could have exposed this person through a message or online with this Eight of Wands and they were heartbroken over whatever decisions that they made to lie, you know, or try to blind this person from the truth, spread lies on you. I'm so done. This is sad. The Emperor's here. Oh, I'm so done. Yeah, Six of Cups is here. They knew this person was someone that will be reuniting with you, like coming back towards you. They knew this person. They could have knew this person was your divine counterpart, the Emperor and the Empress. This person could have been somebody also that you cut off. And this person thought that they were going to be re reuniting with you. This person could be popping out as an emperor because you could have had a relationship with that person. You could have had a child with that person. And this person spread some type of lie because you cut them off. But they got exposed quick and they were heartbroken. It's like whatever lie that they told, it made them, um, it made the truth come out. Temperance is here. So, yeah, this person is coming back towards you. Whoever this person you cut off date, this is someone that, um, it could have been somebody that was very draining. Because I'm getting two different situations. This could have been somebody you cut off or somebody that you don't know. They just came in quick and tried to spread some type of lie on you that was not true. It was a lie. But they were heartbroken when they got exposed. So it's like whatever they said, 
it made them look bad. So after this got exposed quick and um, this person realized they were lied to, they could have been heartbroken. And now it's like they want something to be balanced out. Four of Pentacles is here. And then Knight of Cups is here. So this person has been holding back from connecting with you. And then Five of Pentacles is here. This person could feel like they're not enough. This Five of Pentacles is like feeling left out. They could have been operating in a low vibrational energy. This person feel um this person could have just been spiritually out in the cold. Page of Cups is here, and then Eight of Pentacles is here. So it's like this person wants to work on something. They could want to work on... Um, this could be an apology about something. Six of Pentacles is here. This I'm so done. So this person could want to give you something. This could be a debt. Six of Pentacles could be something that's old. Like a payout? With the Five of Pentacles and Six of Pentacles. This could have been, you know, somebody being left out in the cold or somebody feeling left out in the cold. So this person could have just ghosted you. And they want to balance this out. Six of Pentacles is here. This person could want to give you something. It's like this person ghosted you and they were blinded from the truth. They were lied to by whoever this King of Swords energy is. This is someone who could be dealing with some type of heartache or um, something like that. They're heartbroken. And they could be realizing they needed to leave that person out in the cold in order to balance their self out. Queen of Swords is here. So it was two people behind this. It was a King of Swords, a Queen of Swords. So it's like whoever this person is, this Queen of Swords, this could be someone that they cut off or they distance themselves from. And um, this person went to this King of Swords energy. And they could have paid this person or they could have, you know, told this person, hey, you need to go to this person and tell them this about this person because they'll believe it coming from you because this person had to cut them off. But they didn't do nothing but make that person look bad and make them realize since they were, you know, attached to that person, this is someone that's very low vibrational. They left that person out in the cold as they were still attached to this Queen of Swords. They needed to leave this King of Swords out in the cold. These are two people that were trying to cover up the truth about something because they knew that they would be left out in the cold from this person once they connected with you. It's like these are people that, that could have needed that person. They were very needy and codependent. These are people that could have been using that person. And it's like once that person go towards another direction or connected with you or started this new beginning, ended the cycle out with these people, they know they could no longer manipulate this person and, you know, blind them from the truth. Yeah, these are people that were envious and jealous of the connection. They were trying to sabotage this person coming towards you or connecting with you. So it's like, yeah, it's like they wanted this person to be at a stalemate from going towards a whole nother direction. So they did a lot of stuff at the Seven of Swords to try to keep this person, you know, isolated away from you. And it's like they were working hard. They figured if this person did not come towards you, you would be left out in the cold and they would be, you know, getting this person in the Six of Pentacles energy, being generous, sharing their wealth with them, different stuff like that. Now this person have ended a cycle and they want to come towards you in the Six of Pentacles energy. After realizing these are people that lied. So this King of Swords hooking up with this Queen of Swords behind the um, scenes has this person at the Three of Swords heartbroken, depressed over whatever decisions they made. Because they're being seen in this Five of Swords energy just like this Queen of Swords. Whoever this person is that they cut off, they could have been intimidated by you. 
They could have knew something about you and this person and they could have knew about you and this person's journey or them completing the cycle out with them and having a new beginning with you. And they got envious and jealous and they were determined to try to sabotage the connection, but they were keeping it hidden. They were doing stuff behind the scenes and they thought they would never get caught. They were smarter than that person. They were smarter than you. But it came out. Yeah, these are people that are, that are very toxic. These are people that were trying to keep this person in a toxic karmic cycle. So these were karmics that were trying to keep this person stuck. People that are very toxic. And they were trying to hide the fact that they, you know, were trying to keep this person in a toxic karmic cycle. Now the Pentacles is here. Yeah, they were slowing this person down. These two people. And these were two people that this person was blinded to the fact that they needed to cut off. Yeah, this was a secret. Like, they were doing a lot of stuff in secret. The devil in the moon card could have been spell work to slow this person down, confuse their mind. Like, they were determined to um, cause trickery. Like, play tricks on this person's mind. Because these are people that they're chained to the devil. They don't have nothing else better to do. They're being controlled by negative energy. Yeah, Seven of Cups is here. They were secretly trying to play some type of illusion over that person to have them confused. For a long time, Seven of Pentacles is here. It's like for a long time they had this person stuck. Just dangling. This person could have been, you know, felt stuck in some type of investment. Or they could have been investing in something for a long time that was just keeping them stuck. And it was because they needed to release whoever these people are and get more enlightened. The star card is here. Yeah, this person definitely needed to heal. This person needed to get spiritually woke. King of Wands and Ten of Cups. In order to have their ultimate happiness. They needed to heal. It's like they realized they needed to cleanse their self. Because they were binded to these people under some type of illusion. And they didn't know these people were playing with spell work. Two of Cups is here. And then Seven of Wands. Yeah, it's like they were... This person partnered up with somebody that something backfired on. So if they partnered up with this person, they were confused. This person was going through blockages for whatever spell work they were playing with. And it's like everything backfired onto them and that person. Wow. Queen of Pentacles and then Ace of Pentacles is here. And then Six of Swords is here. It's like they were trying to distance themselves from you. You could be in this Queen of Pentacles energy, just started focusing on your work, or you just someone that works very hard um, to focus on whatever it is that you have. And um, you're someone that's very abundant. So they were trying to distance, keep this person distant from coming towards you, being in a commitment with you, trusting you, or having abundance with you, starting over with you, starting a new venture with you. And it's like this person realized once they partnered up with this, whoever this, this emperor is, they realized once they partnered up with this person, a lot of stuff started backfiring onto them. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune is here. I'm also seeing that a partnership, Two of Cups and then Seven of Wands is here. This partner, a partnership with you and someone else is protected. Yeah. Yeah, so this could also mean that the partnership with you and someone else is uh divinely protected. Because this is um you have a destiny and a purpose with this person. The will of fortune is here. And this is why they were trying to block you and this person from partnering up because they knew about you and this person's destiny. So it's like they were trying to keep that person distant from coming towards you. Six of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, 
and Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, and it's like they're under judgment because they knew ahead of time. And they were trying to create these blockages. The magician is here. Yeah, they're under judgment for causing a lot of trickery. The magician is here and then the chariot is here. It's like these are people that could have thought that you um, would not move forward or they were blocking you off from partnering up with anybody or something like that. But it's like you're in this energy where you're manifesting and you're moving. You've moved forward. The chariot is here. You are still able to move forward even while all this trickery was, you know, being done. That's why it didn't make sense and they got exposed quick. But they didn't know they would have to receive judgment because they knew ahead of time that you and this person have a, a will of fortune. Yeah, justice is here. This is why justice is coming in for you or justice was served for you or something was balanced out for you. You chose to move forward. You already knew about the trickery. That person was not woke. Yeah, and it left that person in regret because they didn't believe something you said or they didn't believe um, something. Like you could have said something to this person and they just did not believe it. And they were in regret when they found out the truth. The sun card is here. Yeah, then ten of, ten of swords. They were betrayed. It's like they were backstabbed multiple times by people that were close to them. People that they would least expect. Two of Pentacles is here. Wow. These are people that were going back and forth with each other. Like these people could have been sleeping with each other. So whoever the close person is that lied for this other person that they, you know, cut off. These are two people that they were supposed to cut off. These are people that were karmics in their life. And they were supposed to leave these people out in the cold. Because they're low vibrational. And they were only keeping their self in a low vibrational energy, staying attached to those people. And this person have a destiny and a purpose. So it's like these are two people could have been going back and forth, you know, with each other, sleeping with each other. Nine of Swords and then Page of Wands. All this person is thinking about is communicating with you. And then Nine of Pentacles is here and then the Strength Guard is here. Yes, yeah, like you made a decision. It's like you made a decision to grow. You're in this nine of pentacles energy, the single person. And this is why they want to reconnect with you. Three of cups and three of pentacles is here. High priestess and then page of pentacles. So yeah, they could have went to a, a tarot card reader and got some type of reading. And they found out that these are people that wanted them to be stuck. Eight of swords is here. It's like they were keeping their self stuff is what they found out. Wow. And then the death card is here. So yeah, they realized they needed to end something out with whoever this Knight of, Sword, Knight of Wands energy is. This is somebody that they were having sex with. That person did not want to be cut off. It's like they were, you know, wanting that person or accustomed to that person, giving to them, being generous to them. And, um... They wanted to keep that person stuck and they found out the truth. Ace of Swords. This truth helped them go through some type of transformation to end something out. And then the Hermit is here. They could have ghosted this person when they found out the truth. They didn't say, you know, hey, I know you did this. I know you did that. I know you play spell work over me. They ghosted that person when they found out the truth. And this person tried to create a whole bunch of chaos and conflict around you. Queen of Cups and Five of Wands. They got pissed off and tried to take it out on you. Yeah, because they were nervous. Whoever this person is was nervous. This is somebody that wanted that person to stay attracted to them or be attracted to them under some type of lustful energy. They could have been placing sex magic over that person when they were having sex with that person. And they didn't know because they were not woke. The lovers is here. And 
and then Ace of Cups. Yeah, this person, this is someone that's in love with you. This person found out about the spiritual connection and they know that you're their true love. Whoa. Sudden wealth is here. And then poverty is here. This could be someone who expected to have some type of sudden wealth, but they're dealing with poverty. This is why they did what they did. They got behind the scenes, played spell work over this person. They could have had some type of reader that they went to that um, did the spell work for them, constantly was giving them readings, and they were helping that person to try to keep whoever your um, divine counterpart is stuck. This is somebody who thought they weren't going to have to work for whatever it is that they want to manifest for their future. They would just use some type of illusion over someone else and they would have them stuck. Child in the reverse. Okay, so you have the child popping out in the reverse. So somebody thought that they were going to use some... This child in the reverse could be someone finding out the child was not theirs. So somebody could have, you know, did a whole bunch of spell work or did something to, you know, make this person think that they had a child with them or something like that. And they thought they would gain sudden wealth. This is sad. Yeah, they thought they would gain great fortune. If they would use a child to try to have this person stuck as well. But it's like they found out the truth. They ended something out. This person hadn't did everything. And still is in this um, poverty energy. Privileged lady is here. Wow, a mature woman in the reverse. So this person did not want to mature. They um they're looking at this person. Yeah, this is sad. This is someone who wanted to be privileged. They wanted to be um taken care of, and they they only did this because they were behind the scenes getting readings on this person and you. So they figured they would do a whole bunch of spell work, confuse this person, lie to this person, have other people helping them lie to this person. And they still ended up in this poverty energy. They're being seen as, a, you know, someone that's not mature. Someone that was, you know, keeping that person in bad health. They could have gotten sick with this bad health being here, being attached to this person. Wow. Wow. Unexpected income. Wow, this is sad. It's like if they got this person sick, this person tried, whoever this uh karmic is that they were attached to, this person tried everything. Including keeping this person in bad health. They could have wanted to have this person sick to the point where they would pass away and they would get some unexpected income. Oh, this is sad. Yeah, main female and then unexpected income. So this person was expecting to get something. And they didn't want to work for it. They wanted to have control over this person's um, great fortune. Something that they could not, you know, have control over. Distant horizons is here. This person realized that they were distancing. They had distanced themselves from they, their great fortune as they were attached or partnered up with this person. As soon as they partnered up with this person, they've only created blockages. They only took losses around that person. They were only in bad health and in poverty. Like they were drained. Mature male is here. And then family room. So whoever this person is, they matured or they realized they needed to mature. 
and distance themselves. This could be from a family in order to have abundance, the gift. They needed to end something out, the coffin. Wow. And it's like this person was confused behind the scenes as spell work is being placed over them. And they could have been trying to place spell work over you, you know, especially if they were lying on you, trying to make you look bad. So that person would not want to come towards you or reunite with you or this person would have just ghosted you and not even know the truth. None of this spell work hit you, but it was hitting that person so they could heal. They could see things for what it is. These are people that got stuck trying to play in your energy. So it's like it didn't work with you. You're woke. And th these are people that did not know this. So they could have just ran in and did something without thinking. And they were just recklessly out here spreading lies. Um, playing with a whole bunch of spell work. And they didn't know what the outcome would be. Yeah, they found out you're their twin flame. Yeah, these are people that don't know you, but they still told lies on you out of envy, intimidation. They were intimidated because you and this person have a destiny and a purpose together. And they wanted that person to think that um, they needed to partner up with them or be attached to them or something like that. It's like they had to do a lot of stuff to expose themselves. You were able to move forward. They ghosted you because they wanted you to chase them. So this person could have just ghosted you. And they thought that you were going to chase them down. They were in the same energy as this person that was placing spell work over them. They stayed attached to this person because of low self-esteem. These are people that are watching you and they're jealous of your gifts. Yeah, karmic friend, but they didn't know. So whoever this karmic friend is that was, um, you know, partnering up with whoever this other person is that they needed to cut off. This is someone that was a karmic. This is just confirmation that these are people that were karmics attached to this person in a low vibrational toxic karmic cycle. And everything backfired times 10. They found out they have karmic family members. And they could have been getting money. Whoever this, this uh, queen of swords is, they were giving that person money or giving that person something. And they were sharing with this king of swords. But they didn't know. Yeah, this karmic takes their money and give it to someone else. And this karmic friend was using spell work as well to keep them stuck because they were benefiting behind the scenes with whoever this other karmic is. They found out they have karmic friends. Whoever this karmic soulmate is, they're facing jail time for fraud. This person has a karmic sister attached to them, but they didn't know. Somebody went to the authorities and lied to them out of envy. It's like they paid people to spread a lot of rumors and lies that was not true out of envy. Yeah, and this person tried to throw spell work at you. And your light irritates their demons. You walking in your own energy, you walking in um, divine positive energy, you having gifts, using your gifts in a positive way. Focusing on yourself, minding your business. It's intimidated that person because this is what attracted your twin. And they could not stand that because they wanted that person to be stuck. They wanted this person to share with them, give to them, be generous to them. They didn't want that to end. They wanted to keep this person, you know, under some type of spell. This person is jealous of the spiritual connection and spiritual bond that you have with this person. This person wanted to be you. This is why they did all of this, and it did not work. It just backfired times 10. Not on just them, but the people that were helping them, people that they're attached to. Yeah, your twin was upset when you didn't sweat them. But it's like if you were woke and that person were not was not woke and you were trying to educate that person or speak the truth to that person and you knew they weren't wouldn't believe you, 
It's like, why would you even bother that person? They had to find out the truth on their own. Why would you want to be attached to someone that's unhealed? Why would you want to sweat a person? This person was being sweated by people that were trying to use them. You didn't need to use nobody. You're someone that works hard for whatever it is that you have and you know your worth. Yeah, this karmic partner used black magic to keep this person stuck. They didn't know. They didn't believe you because they were not spiritually woke. They didn't know anything about, you know, a person trying to place different stuff in their food or their drinks. And whoever this karmic friend is, they were secretly competing with this person. They didn't want that person to know. So they had to place some type of spell work over them to confuse them. So they can see them in certain lights that's not their own. Yeah, it's like they've been trying to send negative energy to you, but you're protected. Yeah, you exposed them for spell work. They were mad when you exposed them for the spell work. Whoever this karmic friend is and whoever this karmic soulmate is that they were attached to. Yeah, this person thought that you would be jealous of them or something like that because they were placing spell work over your twin. I'm so dumb. Uh, this person, you know, they often get tarot card readings to see if you're jealous of them or something like that. And this is somebody you don't even know. This is just how delusional and small minded um, that person is. Wow. I'm so dumb. You will least expect this. Yeah, they got scammed by whoever this karmic partner is. Yeah, this, this karmic partner scammed a lot of people. And whoever this karmic friend is, they want you for themselves. So it's like two people were getting behind the scenes, getting readings. They knew about you and this person's destiny and their purpose. One person was trying to, two people were trying to keep your twin stuck so they would not come toward you. Another person was trying to place illusions over your twin so they would not, your twin would not know that they were attracted to you and they thought they were going to come toward you. But it did not work. 